I want to greet you all in the wonderful and precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Blessings, family of God. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Praise the Lord. His praises will forever be on our lips. Blessings to all of you as I just wait for some people to come on very quickly and I will release the prophetic counsel uh, of the word of the Lord to encourage you uh, in this season and where you're at right now in the name of the Lord. So praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we give you glory, praise, and honor. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your unfailing love, Father God. We give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor of God. You are good. You are good. There's no one like you. There is none that can compare to you, Father. So we give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, praise the Lord, everyone. I greet you all in the wonderful and in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. I've just come to encourage you, family of God, with the word of the Lord to encourage you um, as to where you're at right now. And as you believe in and trust in God to do supernatural things in your life. Amen. We know that God is faithful through it all. God is faithful um, through it all. Praise the Lord. God is faithful through it all. Bless the Lord. And so, family of God, um, in the midst of our busy um, lives, uh, we have much to deal with each and every day, challenges um, that we have to deal with. But in the midst of our busy lives and constant demands um, in our daily life, family of God, it's very easy to feel overwhelmed. It's very easy to feel overwhelmed and, um, and disconnected. <coughs> it's very easy to feel overwhelmed and disconnected uh, because of the busyness of our, our, of our lives and, um, and constant demands that is placed upon us um, in our daily lives. Um, it could be family, it could be um, work responsibilities, it could be um, ministry, um, certain aspects within your role, um, different roles within your uh, life. Praise God. So you can feel easily overwhelmed. And I love what Psalms David says. He says in the book of Psalms, he says, when my heart is overwhelmed, he says, Lord, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. When my heart is overwhelmed, 
lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Praise God. Amen. Psalm 61 verse 1 and 2. Um, hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed and fainting, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Yes, a rock that is too high for me. Verse 3, for you have been a shelter and a refuge for me, a strong tower against my adversaries. Family of God, this is so important. I want you to know that in the midst of life's challenges, life's constant demands that is placed upon you you can feel overwhelmed um, also with the busyness of life remember god is not involved in your busyness okay uh, but in the midst of all of this you can feel overwhelmed and so it's very important that i am pointing you to the rock that is higher than i that is higher than you and the rock is the firm foundation of Jesus Christ. He is our shelter. He is our refuge. He is our strong tower against adversaries. And so it is important, people of God, that during this time, that when you feel in this way, people of God, a lot of mixed emotions can take place, a lot of feelings, a lot of opinions can come through. Um, and sometimes you feel like, God, where are you? God, are you there? God, don't you see? God, don't you know? And you're crying out to the Lord. Um, but I want you to know that God is with you. God is with you right where you're at. And in the place where you at, family of God, you can be, you, you, you can be confident to know this, is that you can cry out unto God right where you at no matter what situation no matter what circumstances you're in no matter what challenges you are faced with no matter what you are encountering that is making you feel overwhelmed um praise god and and this is very important that you also got to manage your time because sometimes you're so busy and you're so busy with the things that you're not supposed to be busy with um this is where you got to manage your time very well in life you have 24 hours in the day. You cannot stop time, but you need to know how to manage your time. You need to learn how to manage your time because God is not involved in your busyness. Are you listening to me very carefully? And because of the busyness, you can become overwhelmed. And, and, and this is why it's important that you have to take time out to spend time with God so that you receive strategy, family of God, and direction, what you need to do, how you need to do it, when you need to do it, and also to receive correction and rebuke for you doing things that God didn't tell you to do. Are you listening to this, people of God? This is so important. Manage your time. Manage your time. Manage your time. Because your time is an investment. Sometimes you invest time. You invest time into people and you don't receive the return. My God, help me, Lord. And so it is very important that you got to manage your time well. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And prioritize your time. Value your time. Amen. Praise God of who you invest your time in. What you invest your time to. Uh, praise God. Amen. This is this is so this this is so important. And 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 let me say this: stop allowing people to rob you of your time who don't value you who don't appreciate you who are who are not walking uh with you amen praise god being faith like 
minded praise god amen so this is where you must stop allowing people to rob you of your time are you listening to this people of god because sometimes we become so busy with our time that we're doing so much of things out there and we get so involved with ministry and so involved with ministry and yet sometimes we don't even have time with the lord that's the truth we don't have time with the lord let me say this, that your time with the Lord is number one priority. Your personal ministry with the Lord is number one priority. It is of vital importance that you don't allow anything to come in the way or in between your time with the Lord. This is very important. Okay, so um, prioritize your life manage your time manage your time and this is where you in the midst of everything that life throws at you in the midst of everything that life throws at you in the midst of your busyness of life in the midst of life placing so much demands constant demands on you work home family uh, 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 people, uh, partners, you know, uh, uh, within your home, praise God, within the ministry, so much demands are placed on you and in the midst of all of this, you can feel overwhelmed. And that is the truth. That is the truth. Even sometimes when you go through situations, you thought that you would not go through, uh, it just takes you by surprise and you become overwhelmed and God, why me? And God, how do I get through this and so forth. And as I read to you in the scripture, Psalms David says, when my heart is overwhelmed, Lord, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And so in the midst of all of that family of God, you also got to find the balance. You've got to find the balance. You've got to find the balance in your life. Praise the Lord. Okay. So in the midst of all of this, people of God, I want you to know that you can experience and encounter God's peace in the midst of you feeling overwhelmed. I want you to know that God is with you. I want you to know that true peace isn't found in the absence of chaos, but in the quiet assurance that God is with us. No matter what the circumstances is, family of God. I don't know what circumstances you are dealing with today. I don't know what circumstances you are faced with right now. But I want you to know that the true peace of God, who is the Prince of Peace, the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding, that peace, people of God, isn't found in the absence of chaos. But it is found in the quiet assurance, knowing this truth, this should be your consolation, that God is with you. Oh my God, you will encounter the peace of God upon your life. You will encounter the peace of God in that situation when you know this truth, family of God. And you walk in this truth and you embrace this truth to know that God is with you no matter the circumstances. Today, I challenge you going forward. Today, I challenge you going forward to focus on nurturing your inner peace and finding your rest in God. Nurturing your inner peace and finding your rest in God the Lord. Family of God, the Bible says in John 14 verse 27, John 14 verse 27, John 14 verse 27, 14, God bless you family, please feel free to share this broadcast, John 14 verse 27, thank you for those that are helping me on the comment section, John 14 verse 27, the Bible says, Jesus says, peace I leave with you, my own peace I now give and bequeath to you not as the world gives do i give to you do not let your hearts be troubled neither let them be afraid 
Stop allowing, listen to this, listen to this. Someone needs to hear this. Stop allowing yourself to be agitated and disturbed and do not permit yourselves to be fearful and, and intimidated and cowardly and unsettled. I want you to know that God is with you right now where you're at. He is the God of El Rohi. He is El Rohi. He is the God that sees you where you at right now. Even if people misunderstand you, people uh, 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 misinterpret you, uh, praise God, hallelujah. But I want you to know that your father sees you. Your father sees you and your father knows you and your father is with you and your father is not going to leave you nor forsake you, people of God. So stop allowing yourselves to be agitated and disturbed and do not permit yourselves to be fearful and intimidated and cowardly unsettled. Hallelujah. Amen. Your true peace comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. If God has closed some doors, let it stay closed. Don't force the doors that God has opened in your life. Leave it closed. Keep it closed. You will, you will be in peace. He will keep you in constant peace whose mind is stayed on the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus says, peace I leave with you. My perfect peace I give to you not as the world does. Praise God. Give it to you. Do not let your heart be troubled nor let it be afraid. Let my perfect peace calm you in every circumstances. I don't know what circumstances you're going through today but I want you to know that the peace of God, the perfect peace peace of God will calm you in every circumstances people of God and the truth of the matter is this is that you need to know that God is with you doesn't matter who left you doesn't matter who's leaving you doesn't matter who dropped you but God is with you somebody needs to hear this God is with you God was with Mephibosheth amen praise God even when the nurse dropped him God was with him God was with him God was with him God was with him I want you to know that you are not alone doesn't matter what state you're in now you might be in a place where Mephibosheth was in but I want you to know that God was with Mephibosheth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody, somebody just, somebody just come to this place. Amen. Where we can all come together and encounter the peace of God, knowing that God is with us us knowing that God is with you in the midst of whatever is happening in the world in the government in your workplace in your marriage in your home in your ministry I want you to know that God is with you you are not alone you are not alone God remembered Mephibosheth hallelujah glory to God glory to God God remembered him and God reward him God rewarded him God rewarded him because of the covenant relationship that David and Jonathan had. Hallelujah. God rewarded Mephibosheth. Praise God. Hallelujah. God rewarded him. And I'm saying to you, people of God, God will reward you as you keep your focus on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So uh, let him keep you in perfect peace. Amen. Calm you. Calm you. His peace. The peace of God will calm you in every circumstances. Praise God. And give you courage and strength for every challenge. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says in Isaiah 26 verse 3. Isaiah 26 verse 3. The Bible says you will guard him and keep him in perfect and constant peace whose mind both its inclination and its character is stayed on you because he commits himself to you, leans on you, hopes confidently in you. People of God, in the midst of the busyness of life, in the midst of 
uh, constant demands placed upon you in your daily life, in the midst of your challenges, family of God, I want you to know that you incline your ears to hear what God is saying and not the negativity of the world. Praise God. Amen. And incline your mind to God. Meditate upon the word of God, not what the world is saying, not what opinions of the world is saying, but what God is saying. Meditate upon the word of God. And he is the one that is going to keep you and guard you in perfect peace. Praise Praise God, hallelujah, because you know, people of God, that you have committed it to the Lord. That problem, that situation, your life, that person that you trust in God, in your home, your family, in your workplace, in the ministry, you've committed it to the Lord and you've placed total trust in God and you're leaning on God and your hope is confidently in the Lord. Know that God will not disappoint you. Come on somebody, Isaiah 41 verse 10. So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you and I will uphold you with my righteous hand, says the Lord. Father, hallelujah. The Father wants you to know people of God that he is with you right now. And he says, don't fear. He says, I'm with you. Don't be dismayed. He says, I am your God. I am your God. And he says, I'm going to strengthen you. I'm going to help you. Praise God. And he says, I'm going to uphold you with my righteous hand. Come on, somebody. I want you to know, people of God, that God is with you and able to give you strength no matter what you go through, no matter what you are going through right now. I want you to know that Father has promised you, people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. He does not promise that you will not face difficulties or fear. But I want you to know that God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Jesus says, take heart, take courage in me because I've overcome this world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He does, he does promise that he is there and he's able to get you through it. Praise God. I'm just I'm just releasing a prophetic counsel to encourage you people of God. Hebrews 13 verse 5. Hebrews 13 verse 5. Let your character or moral disposition be free from love of money, including greed, uh, lust, and, and craving for earthly possessions, and be satisfied with your present circumstances and with what you have. For he, God himself, has said, I will not in any way fail you. Come on, somebody. This is the word of this is the word of your father. He says, I will not in any way fail you, nor give up on you, nor leave you without support. I will not hear the word of the Lord. The father wants you to know. He says, I will not. I will not. I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake you, nor let you down. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God says, He says, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. I will not. I will not. Hear the word of the Lord. I will not. Father is saying to you, son. Father is saying to you, daughter. I will not. I will not fail you in any way. I will not give up on you. I will not leave you without any support. Come on, somebody. Amen. Any, even if people don't support you, God says, I'm with you. I'm for you. And I'm not against you. That no weapon formed against you shall prosper, people of God. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Come on, somebody. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. You be encouraged. You be strong and courageous in the Lord and do what God has called you to do. Praise God. Do what God has called you to do. Do what God has called you to do. Do what God has called you to do. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And as you've heard from God, take courage to know that God is speaking to you to give you direction. Amen. And you take and you will have peace in that, in you hearing and obeying the voice of God. Amen. Praise God. And now as you heard from the Lord, praise God, it's now time for you to move forward with God. Are you listening to me, people of God? It is time for you to move on, move on, move forward. Come on, move on, move forward, move on, move forward. It's time for you to stop going round and round the mountains. Come on, come on, come on. It's time for you to, to move forward. <laughs> move forward with God. Move forward in the things of God. As you move upwards into him in your intimate relationship with the father come on god says in no way will i ever give up on you in no way will i ever fail you i'll never leave you without support i will not i will not hear the lord the word of the lord come on somebody he says i will not i will not 
I will not. Are you hearing me, somebody? Come on. Are you listening to me, Lauren? Are you listening to me, Pastor Wilma? Are you listening to me, Noku Pepper? Are you listening to me, Fabian? Are you listening to the word of the Lord? God is saying to you, your father is saying to you today. He says, I will not. I will not. I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake you, nor let you down. Come on, somebody. I will not in any way, says the Lord. He says, I am with you. I am for you. And I'm not against you. Come on, somebody. And so today, people of God, going forward, listen to this. I encourage you to start learning to nurture inner peace within you. And how do you start to nurture inner peace with you? It starts by you turning your heart and your mind, your total being towards God. Not people, not the situation, not the circumstances, not the issues, not the challenges, but I turn towards God. I, it's a returning towards God. Psalmist David says, when my heart is overwhelmed, Psalm 61 verse 2, when my heart is overwhelmed, Lord, lead me to the rock that is higher than high. In the midst of me feeling this way of being overwhelmed, I turn to the Lord. In the midst of my darkest hour, my darkest hour, my darkest hour, I can sit there in my home, sit there in the workplace, or sit there in the ministry, but I'm, I'm, in, but I'm in a place of darkness. My, my, I'm in a place of darkness, and nobody can see that I'm in a place of despair. But I want you to know, as Psalmist David says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That in the midst of your dark night, in the midst of your dark hour, your dark night, I want you to know people of God that God will begin to give you a song of victory a song of deliverance a song of salvation a song of breakthrough that you can begin to praise your way out that you can begin to praise your way out that you can begin to thank God for your way out come on somebody you can begin to decree and declare the word of God the promises of God you can shout the, with the voice of triumph you can shout the victory song praise God amen hallelujah and know that God is bringing Bringing you out, that God is bringing you through, that God is bringing you to the promised land, the promised land that is flowing with milk and honey. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. So I challenge you to nurture inner peace within you. And it starts with you turning yourself, your total being, turning your mind, your heart, turning towards God towards God. Are you listening to this? Amen. Praise God. Yes, Bobet. In no way will the Lord leave you nor forsake you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord is saying to you, people of God. Amen. Praise God. And so turning towards God and seeking his presence in both the quiet moments and in the hectic moments. So you must, you must learn to seek the presence of God in your quiet time. Praise God with the Lord in your everyday life. Praise the Lord. Are you understanding this? Is seeking the Lord in your quiet moments and also in the hectic moments. You must learn to practice the presence of God daily. God is calling us to a place of retreat with him. Somebody put that up for me. This is so powerful. God is calling us to a place of retreat with him. Praise God. Hallelujah. To come away from the business, to come away from the challenges that's there to try and distract you, derail you, uh, take you of course come away from all the busyness come on come on come on come away come away come away and go to the place where father wants you to be in him so that he can begin to speak to you he can begin to talk to you he can begin to reveal things to you he can begin to download within your spirit praise god hallelujah and he can begin to work on you work in you and work through you praise god for a greater purpose. This is your season for a retreat with the Father. Praise the Lord. Are you listening to this people of God? Hallelujah. This is a season for your God retreat. Come on. This is my season for my God retreat. I need three people to put that up. Come on. I need three people. Quickly, quickly. This is my season of my God retreat. Come on, somebody. You got to get away from the busyness. Come on, don't get so comfortable with the business. As we in the month of November going into December, I know a lot of things happen. People tend to get busy, but I'm telling you, don't miss 
the moment of you spending time with the Lord, quality time, intimacy with the Lord in his word. Praise God. Amen. Are you listening to this people of God? You must understand this people of God. Your quiet time in the presence of the Lord is very important, is very important. The scripture tells us there that, uh, that the Lord has called us to a place of quietness, to a place of trust in the Lord. But he says, you don't want it. People of God, you got to want to be with God. you got to want to spend time with God. you got to want, people are wanting to go to heaven. Come on, but you don't want to make time to spend time with God. You don't want to make time to have fellowship with God, intimacy with God where you are right now. Come on, people of God. Come on, come on, come on. He's beyond the two songs and the four songs on a Sunday morning. Come on, people of God. He says, I go to prepare a place for you where I am that you might also be in my father's house of many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. But God has revealed the secrets to us, hallelujah, through his son, Jesus Christ, that where he is right now, he wants us to be there right now with him. Come on. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's not talking about heaven. He's talking about us experiencing the supernatural now, having heaven and earth now, encountering the supernatural of God, the power of God, signs, wonders, and miracles. Come on, people of God. It's here and now. It's here and now. Oh, Rabasha Katarabasi Tiribi. Let heaven align with your earth. Amen. That's what the Lord is saying to you, Rosha. I will in no way leave you nor forsake you. I will not. I will not. I will not. Hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So you must get into a place of quietness with the Lord. You must get into a place of quietness with the Lord. Okay. Learn to practice the presence of God. It's about, it's about carving out time to be still, to pray and listen to his voice. The scripture says in Psalms 46 verse 10, be still and know that he is God. People of God, when we rest in God's presence, oh hallelujah. When we rest in God's presence, we find a deep sense of calm and renewal that the world cannot offer you. Praise God, the peace of God, the world cannot offer you. This peace I'm talking about is the perfect peace of God. He's the one that keeps you in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him, who stayed on the word, who stayed on uh, God intent. Ah, my God. Amen. He's the one that will keep you in perfect peace. Are you listening to this people of God? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So family of God, I challenge you. I challenge you going forth from today. Learn to practice the presence of God. Learn to to be in a place of quietness with the Lord. And let me tell you, when you get into the place of quietness with the Lord, it's going to require you to re identify and remove those things that is distracting you and that will distract you to spend quiet time with the Lord. You need to get those distractions away. Nehemiah the apostolic leader says, we cannot build the room walls because there is rubbish here. Yeah, come on somebody. You cannot spend time with the Lord if you're going to entertain the distractions. You've got to get these distractions away. Do not turn your location off. Do not turn your location off in your quiet time in the presence of the Lord, seeking the Lord, seeking the counsel of God, seeking the face of God, seeking direction, seeking godly wisdom, seeking the deeper things of God, seeking to know God's hand, to know God's mind, to know God's thought, seeking God because you have a determined purpose is to know God, is to experience God, not church, not a denomination, not a title, not a gift, but to experience God, to encounter God, to have an experiential knowledge about God for yourself. You got to come to this place and say, God, I want to encounter you for myself. I want to encounter you for myself. I want to encounter you for myself. Oh my God. 
And you can encounter God on the bus. You can encounter God within the church. You can encounter God in the bathroom. You can encounter God in your bedroom. Come on, somebody, where you lock the door and say, God, I'm not leaving you until you do what you promised to do. God, I'm not leaving this place until you bless me. Come on, somebody. There's got to be an intensity that you have that you're so determined to go after God. There's got to be a hunger. There's got to be a thirst. The Greek translation says that you must have a hunger in and a thirsty ring after the presence of God, after the glory of God. Come on, come on. And so I, 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 I want the presence of God and I want and I want the glory of God. Come on, somebody. The whole of earth and the, the whole of creation is, 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 is in waiting, is groaning, is waiting in anticipation for the manifestation of the revealing of the true sons of God. Come on, somebody. The true sons of God are the mature ones. They are led, governed, and directed by the Spirit of God. They are they are kingdom minded. Come on, people. Come on. They are kingdom minded. They are kingdom minded. They are kingdom minded. Not church minded. Not denomination minded. They are kingdom minded. Come on. One mind. One heart. One spirit. Come on. Praise the Lord. All about the Father's business to advance the kingdom of God. To expand the kingdom of God. Come on. Get away from your denominations. Get away fighting politics about denominations and, and all these kind of stuff this religious nonsense garbage stuff that is just bringing about uh, intoxication to people's souls uh, and bringing division in the lives of ministries and leaderships and marriages and homes and families lives come on some you got to come to this place where you got to get rid of all that rubbish get rid of all the rubbish within you get rid of all the rubbish around you and get ready to rebuild your life get ready to rebuild your home rebuild your mind rebuild your heart rebuild your life rebuild your marriage Rebuild, 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 rebuild. Apostolic people, apostolic anointing is about rebuilding. I release apostolic anointing upon you now for you to build and rebuild. Rebuild and build your life, your home, your family, your marriage, your identity in Christ, your identity as a person of whom God has created you to be, what God has created you to do, whom God has created you to become, and for you and I to become more like Jesus. Come on, somebody. Erebo Shaya. Mm. Family of God, I want you to make this your priority going forward from today. I want you to make this your priority going forward today. Make this your priority today is for you to slow down and seek the peace of God in you knowing that God is with you. Slow down. I need three people to put that up quickly. Slow down. Three people, very quickly. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Because sometimes you can be running ahead of God. Sometimes you can be doing things without God. No, no, no. Pull the handbrake up and slow down. You need direction, right? Pull the handbrake up. Slow down. It's now time to meditate upon God. Meditate upon His Word. And to know that God is with you. And He will keep you in perfect peace. So, slow down. Number two. Seek his presence. Seek his presence. Seek his presence. Number three, seek the perfect peace of God. He's the Prince of Peace. And he will keep us in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you. Praise God. And as we read, uh, family of God, in the book of John 14, 27, the peace that he has given to us, the world has not given to us. And so let not your hearts be troubled, people of God. Don't be afraid. Stop allowing yourselves. I'm saying this to someone again. Stop allowing yourself to be agitated and disturbed. And do not permit yourself to be fearful and intimidated and cowardly and unsettled. Stop allowing that. 
Stop allowing people to take advantage of you and your time. Stop allowing the enemy to take advantage of your time. With God. With the word. Even with your family. With your marriage, with your children. Come on, people of God. Come on, this is the truth. So seek his peace. Number three, seek his peace. Seek his peace. Seek his peace. The Bible says he will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on God. People of God, true peace isn't found in the absence of chaos, but true peace is found in the quiet assurance knowing that God is with you no matter what is the circumstances right now. Financially, physically, materially, mentally, emotionally. People of God, set aside time each day to be with the Lord. Set aside time each day to be with God. And you can be with him through prayer, through meditation upon the word, being in a place of worship. And you can also just be in a place, a simple sitting place in silence. Sometimes you can just sit in silence. And when you sit in silence, watch this. All you have to do is set your affections on things above. Do you know what happens when you sit in silence, quietness in the presence of the Lord? He quiets your troubled mind. Mm. Oh, <laughs> he quiets your troubled mind when you sit in quietness in the presence of the Lord. You seek his peace, you seek his presence, you seek his face, you seek his word. He quiets your troubled mind. Oh, you receive great strength when you sit in silence in the presence of God. And hear what Father has to say. Hear what Father has to say to you. The scripture says in Revelation 2 verse 29, Let him who has an ear hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. Today, come in agreement to what God has spoken to you. Remain faithful. Remain faithful. Remain faithful to what God has spoken to you. And trust that God has spoken to you. And believe the report of the Lord. Believe the word of God. People of God in closing. Allow God's peace to fill your heart, your mind, your life. And guide you through whatever comes your way. You allow God to hide you in the cliff of the rock. Thomas David says in Psalm 61 verse 2, When my heart is overwhelmed, Lord, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. No matter what circumstances you're faced with today, family of God, financially, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, no matter what you're faced with, people of God, no matter what the report says from the doctors, I want you to know your assurance today comes from your hope in the Lord Jesus Christ, knowing that God is with you. God is with you. He's for you and he's not against you. People of God, it's a time of reflection and it's a time for you to move forward with God. Move forward with God. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 39, verse 2 and 4, and I'm closing with this. Genesis chapter 39, verse 2 and verse 4. The Lord was with Joseph. 
<laughs> the Lord was with Joseph. And he, even though a slave, became a successful and a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Now his master saw that the Lord was with him. Come on. The master saw that the Lord was with Joseph. And that the Lord caused all that he did to prosper. To succeed in his hand. I don't know who has dropped you. I don't know who has overlooked you. Just like Mephibosheth. But I want you to know that God has seen you. God sees you. God is with you. God is for you. And God is not against you. And God is going to cause those people who overlooked you to see that he is with you. He is for you. He called you. He anointed you. Hallelujah. He ordained you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I decree and I declare apostolically, hallelujah, going forth from today, that God is going to cause all that you do say in the marketplace, in the ministry, in your life, in your home, in your family. God is going to cause all that you do, amen, amen, with your hands is going to prosper and is going to succeed in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Amen, 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 amen. Glory to God. That is the word of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Come on, just give some praises to God. Give some hearts and lives to God. Come on, I just want you to thank God for a moment. He keeps you in perfect peace, church. I release the covenant of the shalom of God upon your home, upon your family, upon your home, your family, your marriage, your ministry, your children, whatever situation, circumstances that you are faced with, I release the shalom of God upon you now. Keep your mind set on God, not on the world, not the problem. Not the situation, not the reports of men or doctors, but on the report of the Lord. Just be encouraged with the song, church.
Well, family of God, thank you for tuning in. God bless you. And I release God's grace upon you apostolically. I release it upon you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Please share this broadcast. Amen. And please meditate on this broadcast. Amen. If you have been on from the beginning, if you have come on late, please go back and watch it. Amen. It's going to strengthen you and it's going to empower you. You're going to receive impartation through this um, broadcast. So God bless you, family of God. Love you all so much to all the family of God. Love you all so much to all my sons and daughters. Love you all so much. And I thank God for your life. And I pray God's riches, blessing, grace, favor, and peace and shalom and rest and rest upon your life your home your family in jesus name god bless you this is apostle joseph osborne thank you for tuning in god gets all the glory god is on the throne and so we continue to move forward with god god bless you good night shalom